one big thing. Jacksonville Cleveland on Sunday might not be the game that you were most interested in. Perhaps not at all. But your enthusiasm for the game, whatever it may be, cannot be any lower than Leonard Fournette's. It's not that he's bummed out about an NFL worst 33 yards in his last game. It's much simpler than that. The high in Cleveland on Sunday is going to be about 37 degrees and there's a decent chance of snow throughout. Leonard is from Louisiana and he is not interested in any of that nonsense. I'm not for playing in the snow, playing in the cold. That's the only thing. And uh, just trying to just trying to get our mind, our mind ready for that. And the cold I played in was in Arkansas for my freshman year. And uh, just trying to get ready. That's that, I mean, that's a running back's game, though, when it's windy and cold and then downhill run game, right? I mean, that's... That might be to you, <laughs> and not to me. The Arkansas game Fournette mentioned featured a temperature of 33 degrees. LSU lost 17 to nothing, and Fournette gained only nine yards on five carries. I understand he's from the bayou where it's always hot and humid. But here's the thing. If you make the playoffs, you're likely to end up in Kansas City, Pittsburgh, or New England at some point. The average temperature in all those places in mid-January, in mid-January, I should say, is in the mid to upper 30s. Here are some images from playoff games played in those places over the years. It's almost certain to be cold. Last year's Chiefs Steelers playoff game was delayed today because of an ice storm. The Patriots played in one of the most famous snow globe games of all time. There's no guarantee it's going to be cold, but it absolutely will not be warm. So when Leonard talks about getting his mind right for Cleveland this Sunday, I'm looking down the road to when games matter most. Jack Nicklaus used to famously say that when he heard competitors complain about playing conditions prior to a major championship, he eliminated them as a threat for the week because they were defeated before it even began. So until Jacksonville is in the business of earning home field for the playoffs, Leonard is going to need to learn to at least make peace with the cold. And he's going to get his first chance to do just that Sunday in Cleveland.